facilities to temporarily house asylum seekers, we find it problematic that programs that benefit New Mexico's residents and communities may be canceled or relocated because of this decision. Initial news reports on this issue indicated that no events scheduled at Expo New Mexico uh, would be impacted by the housing of asylum seekers there at the state fairgrounds. And now, of course, we do know that the annual 4-H horse show, which was, has a long 30-year tradition of being held at the state fairgrounds in Albuquerque, has to be relocated to Las Cruces, yada, yada, yada. It is concerning that programs that benefit New Mexico's youth may be disrupted in favor of housing migrant families at the state fairgrounds, yada, yada, yada. We uh, question whether other events held at Expo New Mexico that are integral to New Mexico's communities, such as the New Mexico State Fair in September, will be adversely affected by this decision. We seek your assurances that they will not. So now we are awaiting response, the senators are. And of the 15 senators, they do include Sandra Rue of Albuquerque, Mark Moores of Albuquerque, Craig Brandt of Rio Rancho. However, we brought this up last hour as well, and since then I've received an email saying, Bob, uh, there is actually one state senator who refused to sign the letter because it wasn't strongly worded enough. Oh, really? Oh, and that state senator, Candy Cruz. No, I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> oh, it is, awesome. Because I could see you being a holdout. <laughs> no question about it. Uh, state Senator Greg Ofer of Jowl, New Mexico. Oh. Yeah, here's what he has to say about it. This illegal immigration is creating a crisis for us. The governor apparently is not seeing what we are seeing in southeastern New Mexico. We are in crisis. The illegal immigration is severely impacting our students' education, our health care system, and things are not safe. Our border communities are feeling that every day. I prefer all illegal immigrants go directly to Santa Fe. Nice. <laughs> so that's, I like that that's one. The we, that's the letter that he wants to send to the governor. I'd sign that puppy. <laughs> you go. With a big purple pen. We'll get a hold of the state senator in jail, see if he wants to add your signature to it, just for the hell of it. Cookies. It would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Mm. I like that guy. He's going on the Christmas list. This is Candy Cruz's new state senator, her favorite state senator. <laughs> on the jail. The guy from jail. Hey, before you get to traffic, uh, high school uh, graduations... I thought I muted this. <laughs> anyway, I think I thought I was muting it and unmuted and you it. unmuted it, yes. Yes, I reversed rolled, if you will. With all of the graduations going on.